came back out. We're talking everything paid for. Everything paid for. He's like, hey, I'll take you here, 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 here if we do this. Because guess what? When the goal is achieved, just like Lisa Nichols says, you get so giddy and so happy about achieving. Like, oh my God, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. So next thing you know, they set up another one. They were like, check this out. I'll take you to Maldives if we reach this target. And guess what? By that December, probably a few months later, they reached the target, they went to Maldives. Set a specific target, right? If you're going to ask an open-ended question, be like, you know what? How about this? I got one of my business partners. I was like, okay, you know what? If we get three responses in terms of how we can increase your health, this, working out, blah, 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 blah. I'll take both you and I on me to Krabby. Krabby, Thailand is one of the most gorgeous places on the planet. We could fly right into the airport and stay in a resort for a day. Or, well, let's just say two or three days. Okay? So I set a target. And so we're going to work together so hard to achieve that goal so we can get that reward. Okay? And then if you don't know how to get it, that's what you have to do is ask. That's what Tony Robbins did. You know, all the most successful mentors on the planet, they started asking each other. Because everyone has uniqueness and, and, and greatness within them to help you in whatever you're trying to achieve. Right? So it's kind of like, um, what is it? Uh, will you give me some money? Like back in 1997, 1997, this 21-year-old Chad, you know, he was set out on a one-man mis one mission to clean up the Mississippi River. So you know what? It's crazy because he ended up asking to speak uh, to the top guy of this so-called business and, ev and eventually, you know, gave him probably 8400 And you know what Chad asked him? Chad went straight up to him and said, will you give me some money? And then Ramirez, you know, the, the top guy, he was like, who are you? Chad said, hey, I want to get rid of all this garbage in the Mississippi River. And then Ramirez said, can you show me a proposal? And Chad said, what's a proposal? Ramirez at eventually invited Chad to a meeting and gave him a check for 25000 to clean up the Mississippi River. Just ask. It's crazy. It's bizarre. And rejection, it's kind of like fear. Fear is our friend, Lisa Nichols says. And asking, experiencing rejection, reject rejection. And that's the next principle I'm getting into. Okay, people? So if you have any questions, at AJ in Thailand, I hope this inspired you because this certainly inspired me and I'm the one speaking. With that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening from all over the world. This is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.